guys, hey guys, it's Lily Rose. and um, sorry, um, I know you guys don't know this, but there are two things. A, I tried to film this like about five minutes ago, it was going really, really nicely and well until stupidly my tablet and went pew, and I it actually accidentally touched uh, touched me and touched me, and that's and it made it stop. So, which is really annoying. The second thing, I've never done this before. I'm doing a collection tour, so I got up to Monkey, so I'll go back all again. Um, so, I'll try and rush through these bit. So, here we have Harley, the um, Black Mustang. He's a really nice, I really like him. He's one of my newest. He came. I thought I just heard a noise, but I don't know what the heck it was. Um. Um, I've just forgot. Yeah, he was one of my new ones. He came with a foal. He came with a shire foal. Oh, and I think he also came with Blue or Freya. You'll see them later. He's really cute. He's adorable. Next, we're having Cobalt, who's the Frisian Stallion. But I know we call him Stallion. Stallions, but I'm gonna call them geldings because nearly nobody at their stables have you know stallions, they're mostly geldings, We're always geldings. So, yeah, he is beautiful, he is like the most prettiest one ever. He's one of my he's one of my oldest, and he's, he's pretty good, he's in nice quality. Oh dear, pony fall. I don't know what happened, I can't find Harley now. Yeah. <laughs> See Cobalt phone and he fell and it was like, oh dear. There should be an outtake. This nearly always happens. No stand. This nearly always happens when I'm trying to do a video. Doing an episode of Bayview. Oh, if you don't already know, the video might be out this week. But uh, I did my last video of Bayview Staples. Sad face. So give me a tissue. No. I'm really happy I'm finishing it. it that was like one of my first series kind of build me up to getting my subscribers so thanks guys the first i just did it for some reason with dales i was like i'm just gonna start until we grew and you guys started getting lovely comments about stuff and then i started doing stuff more so yeah uh let's go on um so here we have comet uh he's my first hanoverian hanoverian i think he's it uh gelding So that is him. So yeah, that's him. He's beautiful with his lovely new head, his nice head collar. I think he's got like a blaze or a snip. No, a snip would be down there. I'm calling it a blaze. I can't remember what he's got. He's got two socks and two stocking, stock, yeah, stockings, stockings. Okay. Yeah, you might be wondering why some don't have their blankets on because I didn't want their blankets on. I put them in the shop. You can't see them. Okay, so now we have Lovely. This, she's um a middleish one. I got her last year. She's be she's really pretty. She's pretty. She came from all the way from Germany, and I was like, hmm. Um, I looked at my eBay packaging. She came from eBay. I was like, it's like why has she not come yet? And I was like, and then I looked again. And I was like, oh, I bought her from Germany. And I was like. No, I bought it from Amazon. Yeah, the seller is in Amazon. Yeah, was in Germany. I was like, oh, also I didn't know that. But I was like, okay, that's fine. She's gorgeous. And she is the Frisian mare. She's a pretty one. And next we have one of my favourite. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't he? This is Mexico. Oh, I was thinking, guys, if you could give me... And name suggestions in the comments down below because I really don't really like I really don't like the name Mexico. So if you guys could think of another name for him, because it'd be really nice if you could. Because I don't like the name Mexico, and he just doesn't seem Mexico. He seems like like more like an a like an Apache or something like that. So guys, could you give me a name comment for him, please? Well, your lovely comments are really really helping me to gain my confidence on youtube so then here we have my second um i'm doing this at night and it's getting really freaky <laughs> look you know 
because um oh yeah you were yeah uh yeah Holly fell over stuff you saw a minute ago this is um monkey I thought he was a monkey because he looked pretty cheeky doesn't he though doesn't he look cute don't he look cute I love his little arrow here around his tail a bit oh it's so cute I love the shading on him it's like all the shading it goes all shady around his his leg his um uh uh, around his kind of like hindquarters and his legs, which is really cute. And his stable has now just fallen down. This used to be Guinness's stable. <laughs> Till here, I'm just going to show it. Oh no. Then I have my my only Andalusian mare. And we have Dawn. She's pretty. I love how they've done such a cute job of braiding her mane. I love it. So pretty. I don't think they've done it to her tail, have they? No. But she looks, she's like really cute. Um, so yeah, she's really cute. I, got, I think I got her when I, I got her and Buddy together. She's really nice. If you don't know Buddy, you'll see him later on. Okay, let's keep on going. Now we're going to the Tinker Mare. I know they've made a new one, but I think she's, she's pretty cute. I like her. And this here is Fluffy, or we call her Millie. Isn't she cute? So yeah, um... I don't know really when I got, I can't actually remember, I think I got her because I started collecting kind of like she likes in 2013 and I think I got her in 2014, I can't remember who I got her with, I might have got her this year, no it was definitely 2014 I think, I got, oh I remember, I bought like a huge package, I bought about five horses, five horses and a human, which was the Elizabeth was falling over. It was her, Dorana. Um, I don't know who else. Uh, it's pretty hard. Billy, maybe. Yeah, loads I bought f with her. She's so cute. I really recommend you having her in her stable. In your stable, she is a really, really, really good horse. Having your stable, of course. She's got a lovely pose, and it, she really will spike it up a bit. Oh, look who's brought some, look who's brought some bedding with them, eh, Pip? So here we have Pip. She is about our second smallest pony. Yes, we have a small one, her. She's the Dartmoor pony. Oh, just saying, she's a tinker. She's the tinker. The tinker mare. This is the, this is the uh, Dartmoor pony. She is adorable. I'm going to just take her head collar off. It's so tiny. If I just took it off. Come on, come on, come off. Come off. Yeah, so, um, Cora's, uh, you'll see, one of my livery horses here have her, the pony saddle and, no, the pony's bridle, sorry, and it fits her. I'm like, oh, it's so cute. And I'm like, oh. She's beautiful. I love her shading. And I also really recommend you getting her as well and her tail. And you can't see it on here. Focus camera. See, her tail is absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I really recommend you getting her. Her and the Tinker Mare, I really recommend you getting. And I've got another one here You should, I should recommend you to. Um, yeah, just saying. Oh, God. I think they're in the arena. We can't have that. Another good mare to have would be the Acoltique. Okay, she's not very realistic for riding. I can say that. So when I put my bridle on her, it goes all floppy, and I'm like, oh, that's fantastic, isn't it, Megan? So we have Megan, the Acoltique mare. She's got a beautiful pale colour. I think I got her, like, the end of this year. I got, like, the entire... I got her and her, the Acoltique foal, which was really cute. And she, I think, who came first? I can't... The foal came first, I think. No, can't have. No, she came first. That was like... I can't remember who came first. It's really annoying me. Um, um, I don't know who came first. She came first, I think. And I was like... Um, I was like, oh my... I can't... I was like, she's so much prettier than 
she guys um a year the, the i think it was 2014 around november december um it was october or november i got her uh last year and i was like when i got her i was like she's okay but since i've got her i have just got a few scratches i've kind of started to grow and love her she is like a really pretty mare and i really re re recommend you having also in your stable oh look here we have buddy this in camera oh, no. so here we have buddy who's adorable he's really unrealistic he, he doesn't even do jumping and he's got jumping boots i just find that way funny but oh it's been 10 minutes already wow we're not even we're not even finished the first block so here we here we have Buddy, and he came with Dawn, and when he arrived, he was horrible. He had scratches all over here. He came in horrible quality, absolutely horrible. Uh, but we washed. Well, uh, I washed most of his stain, his horrible stains off. They were mostly from the packaging. And I just thought, I thought he is really. I was thinking, Mum. I was like. I was like to myself, I don't know why I mentioned that name with, I was like, oh. Because I've never sended ponies back before, and I was like, with him and another pony you'll see later, I was like, I was going to say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to send them back. But I think it's better than having character. That's definitely what my mum said. I was like, <laughs> my mum said, ponies with more scratches, you know, kind of, they give more character, and I'm like, I see what you mean, because it makes them kind of like age a bit. If you if you get what I mean. If you don't get what I mean, don't worry. Just forget what I said there. But he's really cute. I got him, yeah, at the same time as her, which is about around, I don't know, May last year. And so here we have one of my favourites. I got him, um, I don't know when I got him. Oh, I got him in 2013, and when I saw, when I saw, no, I was actually, I was actually really excited to have him. It was him, that Cora, and another one. It was him, the, the, um, oh, Camarg mare, and the Lipa, the old Lipizzana mare. Not the 2014 Lipisana mare, the other Lipisana mare. Yeah, um, I could not wait for them because they were going to be like my first kind of like big, lovely, gorgeous ones. He came first and I was like, oh my god, I do not want to get scratches on you. And the minute I kind of started modelling him with tack, he got that scratch. So I was like, oh, better. I was like, he's got some on his legs. It's just really horrible. But he's he's like, well, I kind of like use him a lot. But he's like the most prettiest, absolutely gorgeous gelding. I love his Appaloosa spots. Look at those. They really shine out. And Bri, oh, not Bri, Schleich did an fan, absolutely fantastic job on him. So I recommend you getting So now, this mare here is one that I am not extremely keen on. She's okay, but she's a bit dull and a bit plain, I'd say. I'm not very keen on her mould, if I can be very honest with you. Yeah, okay, she's cute, but with her array with that lovely noble nose sticking out. Okay, so this here, we have the Arabian Mare, Jazz. Okay, I haven't given you all of them. His name's Alfie. Megan, yeah, I think I... That's Pip. Yeah, I, I think I've told you all the names. Yeah, so... Oh yeah, guys, don't forget to give me this guy Mexico a name, because I don't like Mexico. So yeah, she I'm not really keen on her. I don't really like her tail. It's a bit yeah, so not much to say about her. I got her last year. Um, well, May, June. June? What the heck's June? July. July or June. So yeah, not much to say about her. Not very keen on her. Not saying that I don't like her. I love all my models here. Oh my god, this one's covered. Gosh, she's been like that. This is one of my loves. I love her. When she came, I didn't know. If, have you noticed with her in the picture? You'd be think she's just all white. Actually, she's got kind of little blue spots on her, which is really cute. And I think she, her her mold is really pretty. You can see she definitely has character. You can see. Um, 
I've never actually seen a camarg in my life, but from the way that Schleich have been modelling them, you can see maybe they're a bit aggressive, because her ears are back, and it might mean she is getting she is getting angry. So I love her. I love all the kind of you know, all the beautiful kind of like facial expressions. Her ears are back. Yeah, so I just like her. She just looks like she's got a little frown on her, on her mouth, and I'm like, little kind of like something with her mouth. But she is absolutely adorable. She, and when she sticks that out like there, it looks like she's waiting for carrots. She's a nice model to get to your stable. Okay, and then here we have Sue, the Pinto mare. She is a lovely one to get, so I recommend getting her. So she's really pretty. Um, and be nice. So when you're in the arena and when she's turning, it will actually look like she's actually turning. So yeah, she's lovely. I like, um, not very keen on her mould where she just stands plastically still. I'm a bit ashamed with Shalite this year. I thought when they said they're getting a new pin, I was like, whoa. But then I just saw it's the same mould and they've just put the patches in different places. But I love her tail. I love her tail. Swooshed. So yeah, not much to say about her, but she's cute. So here is one of my customs. I did him this year. His name is William, to make him look like my boy. Doesn't he look cute? So yeah. My... So he has got a brown... Um, he's a skewbald. He is... Okay, I'm not going to tell you all my details about my own pony. Um, yeah, so he's got a lovely brown head. Bit of a brown bottom. Can't say that. Oh yes. And he's got a brown bit on this side here, which is cute. Love him to bits. I wanted to choose this because he was like the closest. But brown hair is not the best. And it's really good because mine doesn't have shoes and he doesn't have shoes. I was like, oh yay. I didn't do a fantastic job on his uh, legs though, which is a bit annoying. Okay, so now I'm going to bring the next pony. This will take a bit of a so now, here we have Philomena. Um, I don't really know what breed she is, but she's a horse. Or maybe a Lipizzana, a Welsh D, something like that maybe? But she's adorable, she's a tournament mare. Uh, she'd be really nice for your stables. Like, if one day you were like, doing a show for your stable, a show theme for your stable, she'd be a brilliant one to get, because she looks like she's all in the, all in the mode for it. So yeah, guys, really re recommend you getting her as well. Um, now I'm getting getting out. Oh no! Oh god, she's about to fall over. So now I'm getting out another one of my customs. Go Guinness! This is Guinness. Not much to say about Guinness. He's just, oh, uh, he's like one of my nicest models. So yeah, um, I've kind of I've like customized him. This is like the fourth one I've done him on so I've changed him all over the years so I was like I'm going to keep him because he's cute as Guinness he looks a lot like the pony and I was like maybe I should make his him look a bit more black I was like no no reason like and actually he is a boy I know that mold is supposed to be a mare but well. here we have the pinto gelding or study now I like him he looks like I don't know what mold he's in it looks like maybe he's in a trot Ready to go into a canter. He's got a bit of an awkward one. But he's really cute. And he'd be really nice to make tack on. Because he's like the, av the average pony size. If I can say that. Yeah. So yeah. Not much to say about him either. Okay. I'm getting. Now I'm getting out my tiniest pony. You know what we're thinking. Eve, she's a school pony. And yep. Yeah, Pip's tack. The Dartmoor pony. Fits her. Yeah, she, I don't know what breed she is, a Shetland maybe, little little Shetland, her name's, I can't say it, Clarissa, yeah, Clarissa, she's pretty, I love her, look, she's like, doo -doo 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 -doo. she's tiny and cute, can I say that, she's tiny and cute, next one, is the Tennessee Walker, um, gelding, he's cute, I love his tail, I love it, when horses canter and their tails are up in the air. I'm just in love with it when they do that. He's like one of my favourites. Um, I can't remember when I got him. 
this year. No, last year. Something around last year. Okay, guys. I've got the Tennessee Walker mare here. She's adorable. So, yeah, not much to say about the Tennessee Walker mare. So, I've got the Akultik uh, gelding. He is beautiful. If you have, like... If you want to have, like, livery for your stables, choose him because he... He'd be beautiful, majestic people. Um, because you know, the school ponies, I'm not saying they're horrible, but they're a bit small and a little bit, you know, kind of a bit tiny and a bit whingy. But when you see him, he is just beautiful and majestic. And you'll be like, oh my god. And you can see he looks like livery. Isn't he just gorgeous? I love him. I just love everything about him. He is one of my favourites just gonna say that he is one of my favorites to start off with i wasn't really keen on this guy yeah a bit like megan oh, sorry guys oh my thing's come off Ugh. okay sorry about that <laughs> so yeah i didn't like him at first and i was thinking of customizing to a brown but no i've actually liked him as well he's the nebby strapper i'm just going to call with him an appaloosa an appaloosa because that's what they are, not really a I've never actually seen a horse called a Nabshapa before. <laughs> Nabshapa? Nah. No, but he is cute. He is lovely. And you can see, he looks more, more like a school pony, but you know, doesn't really matter. But now I'm going to get one of my other favourites. Some people say they don't like them because they're of their mane but i think that she is really pretty people might be saying oh i don't really like the new tooth fells she a 2013 i think she's 2013 man nobody like don't like her and i'm like why look at her beautiful pose okay she is extreme so walk 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 she is very easy to knock over look She's not very easy to balance, but she's just beautiful. Look at that beautiful white blaze. I think Schleich did a beautiful... Did absolutely a beautiful job on her. Absolutely gorgeous job. So, people who don't like her, that's just your opinion. But in my opinion, I think she's beautiful. So here... Oh, God, what's that? There? Okay, I knocked over an Easter egg. Oh, well. Yeah. Easter, everything is awesome. Sorry, I've got that song stuck in my head now. <laughs> so here's one. He was, he's still an awful, I can't really show you, can I? Uh, so annoying. He's an awful quality. He's the Lipizzana gelding, I think. Yeah, but he is beautiful, though. He is absolutely gorgeous. See any? No, this is a gratitude. Uh, you can see on the legs. Yeah. Oh, well. Until I can't really show you this. Right. I don't. I can't actually see. So I've got the. Uh, not much to say about these guys, but they are really cute. Love them all. They have the two fjord, uh, stallion and mare, and we've got the the old two thousand. I can't. I think maybe two thousand and thirteen. Um, Lipizzana. So here I've got the Clydesdale mare. No, it's the Shire. So Shire Mare, Snowflake, she is beautiful. Don't like her mould, but I love her braids and him. I've got another custom here. He's not bad, but I'm I'm not very keen on that one. But I've also got the Shire The Shire Stallion. He is beautiful. But he has got a very odd metal, well odd feel. Okay, so yeah, got beautiful blades, but he's got odd feels. Bit rubbery, none like the others. So here is one I got for Christmas. He's gorgeous. I love him. He's Mac. He's the Tinker Stallion. Beautiful. I love his. Sh I love a bit of shading on him. I love the fur they've kind of made on him. So yeah, guys. Sorry, I had to rush that last bit. So yeah, I think that's all the horses I have included. Um. My foals are over there, but I'm not going to go through them. Here are my briars. So yeah, guys, hope you've enjoyed this video. So bye, guys. See you in the next episode. Bye.